Yeah, I think, man, I'm starting to think that a lot of the top tiers remained where they are, and just a couple other characters got better. You, you see what I mean? Yeah. How, how do you feel about that? Like, like when I look at when I look at 18, you know, as, as I'm playing, I'm like, this is really good. But I I still think about you know what it takes to get there and what it takes for a character like Bardock to get his. Mm-hmm. And I think what you said about ease of use was pretty interesting even though i think easy use shouldn't completely determine whether or not the characters are strong i.e like evil ryu but you don't mean like that you mean like it's part of it it. yeah yeah Yeah. you're easier like just it's gonna happen yeah like the game plan or what they want to do is gonna happen more often regardless of how good you are at the game Right, right, yeah. right. Like, yeah. Evil Ryu is like, yeah, if you can do the combos and shit, character's fucking busted. If you can't, character sucks, right? Exactly. Yeah. Whereas but, with these characters, like, people, people, your your mid-level player is going to be able to achieve a lot of these things. Yeah, like, any, anyone could have done Kid Buu 2S, right? Right, right. Yeah. Well, Kid Buu, what do you think about Kid Buu now with the Kid Buu now? Mechanic? You have to be really I mean, good at the game to play him, I think. No Benzo. memes, no memes. No memes. No memes. I actually think... He's the highest ceiling character in this game. Mm, really? Yeah, because everything you do is fake. It's all conditioning. He actually has no real mix-ups. If you are god at reacting, he has no real mix-ups. He, super jump float isn't isn't guard cancel. True. That's true. So I have to have conditions. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I mean, what is what is M ball? Still, it's 20 frames now. It's 20, right? No, nah, M ball is uh. Oh, well, it's 19. But you don't do M ball, you can't do. I don't think you can do high level. I don't think you can do it. You think people reacted to that or, or dealing I with think that? It's such a risk. Top players, get... top players will react well, to it. Well, and you can get if you get two H. That's a yeah. TOD. But that's the thing. I never do it where I can get two H. If I do two S into M, it's a it's a string. You can't. Okay. okay. Yeah, you can't get two H. I think, but it's that's still a 50-50, right? Yes, depending on the assist that's... you have. No, I mean it's still a 50-50 if I reflect or not. Kinda? Cause I mean if I if I do jab, right? If you reflect it and I just do jab, you'll auto reflect me. Interesting. So okay. I yeah. See. That's crazy. What so with Kid Boo being you feeling like him being the higher ceiling, what do you say when you see 18? Cause I would I, I would say that that character's ceiling, at least Okazemi wise, you know, matches that. Of a guilty gear character mm, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but when i look at it because when i was playing kid boo a short time three weeks ago i was thinking you know if there was a way that people could you know figure out a setup or timing for 2s on people's wake up that will cover most things solo you know he can then, cover everything solo off uh, skd in the corner yeah but the latex is he, is see he that's, that's why you just backdash os and uh mm. so the thing is he can like cover air quotes everything if, so if you do the, the Kazunoko setup, right, you whiff the jab, neutral jump, hit H, right? Mm-hmm. Um, if you if you can, if you, so you always do the backdash OS, right? Mm-hmm. Just in case they uh, DP or something, or if they delay tech, you auto backdash and you're like, oh, he delay tech. You wait, the 1M. 1M or bait raw tag, right? Or react right. to them jumping with TOS. It's, it's very reactionary. That's why I think right. he's hard to play. Because it's First not like thing- you just don't do the setup and it just works you know well, by the way we got to do this more often dude, because you know and you know i'm real I'm yeah not, cause same thing that's gonna get you banned but i'm, I'm real <laughs> you're not even get the viewership that you should get based upon your game knowledge you know based upon because as we're talking right now you know whatever about comparisons and how you achieve the thing your your game iq is really high you know I, i'm just i'm listening and it's matching some of the things i say but it's also introducing me to your way of your standpoint and your standpoints are you know pretty valid and pretty rooted in very clear reason and you know like i said you look at someone like me and i'm i'm a funny guy right and, and people like me but when when like but when when you look at a player like you and in esports in general i just think that you know players like you should not saying you're faker because you're not you're not that good but like faker faker-esque like i feel like people's viewpoint of you isn't 
doesn't match how smart you are. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I think they say Super Noon's a really good player, but they don't say this guy has one of the best IQs in Dragon Ball. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I was thinking about that earlier, because I was going to... I'm going to start offering, like, coaching and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. But I was thinking of a way to, like... Like, why... Because why... I was thinking about it in terms of, like, I'm selling something, right? So right. I was like, why would someone want me to coach them? Over another person. Yeah, but then I thought about it, right? I was thinking about it, because that's what you're supposed to do. It's like, well, I've coached people to top 8 at EVO, top 8 at right. Majors. Right. People that have won Majors. Right. And no one else at that you level is... EVO champions. Yeah. <laughs> no one else is you know, offering coaching like that in Dragon Ball. So I feel like it's pretty good. It's yeah, a I, feel, I, I feel like that's a big part. But I just feel like even... Because you, you talk a lot to the chat, and it's very informative. Um, but I just like conversations like these with with, with like me for example example mm -hmm. on stream because a lot of times people don't see they don't see the side unless you're over say this house or you're playing with, or you're going commentary Wednesday night fights but yeah it's just it's just very rooted in reason and I think that would open like a whole new stream of, of people like just like looking at Dragon Ball streams in general um, what do you what do you think about base Vegeta? Because my thoughts about Base Vegeta kind of, he's strong. He's definitely strong. He's very similar to pre-patch Bardock mm -hmm. in in how he 50-50s you and how he gets to level 3 50, 50 Yeah. But it's not similar in the way of I hit the neutral and the scrambles that Bardock is able to take advantage of is much stronger than Base Vegeta. Yeah. In my opinion. And people, people think just because you can't jail... Um, you can't jail Larry anymore. That that's like, really yeah, that's bad. a hell, yeah, yeah. But like, it's a half bar for that move. That's insane. Yeah, it's a full screen frame trap. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> and most can't... of the time you're doing it with assists anyway. Yeah, you don't. You would never just do it solo. I mean, if if you do ex Larry, you're not punishable, right? No, no, no. I'm pretty sure. No. I'm pretty sure it's like minus. You're minus five. You're fine. Five. Yeah, you're fine. And and what's crazy is people don't see it this way. But Bardock has a D, uh, invincible reversal. Uh, he has it's minus five, but he can backdash your uh, yeah your partner, your Larry at you. So it's like it, for me, it creates a very similar situation to when he's plus two. Even though that sounds stupid, and I hate when people do that, but you the Bardock player still just even as long as he doesn't do ex uh, backspin. Yeah, like he can't cover all your options anyway. And yeah. you can't cover all his options this so it's, it's a similar situation so I, I i think he's really good man i, I was playing bar the other other day and i was like wow yeah i think i think base vegeta in terms of like like the game and stuff like that i think he's really strong i can understand why people say he's the best character in the game but i feel like his game plan and things you need to happen don't happen like as like I was saying, like as often as they do with Bardock, right? Bardock, if I you're agree. near me, I just hit L. It, it's the same thing with Trunks, right? Yeah, like people, Trunks too. Tr Trunks is super hyped up right now, but I haven't seen one. Tr Look, man. I think Trunks is good, but he's not that good. It's his buttons, man. Yeah, like, you can't like you can't have a character that if you I do your medium button, my medium button, my pressure's up. Like, yeah, that's that's really, really, really not good. Yeah, I think people only focus on the. Like the uh, the flashy <laughs> things that people do, yeah. and not really the practicality of uh, well, stuff well, that will happen. I, I, I will say, change the future is a really strong move. And, yeah, and it's really good. Him having a beam now, along with his neutral, is really good. But it's like, what do you do? I haven't seen anyone do anything with. It. Like it's like it's like someone being like, I'm really smart, dude, and everyone being like, Yeah, man, this guy's really smart. But like, look, he fails every test. So I'm like, mm. he's not. Um, do you at least feel like the kid, like Goichi's looking heavily into him? And I think Goichi's gonna play Trunks, Yamcha, base Goku. I don't think he he likes Broly um, or S Broly. I yeah, think I don't Broly. think he'll play Grappler. No, I don't think he'll play. That's Broly. not his style. I don't think because he he likes I, stuff that flows really well and really fast. Exactly. Yeah, he likes things that are very 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 streamlined. Everywhere. Yeah, inconsistent. Oh, Grapplers right. are like. That's that, you're 50 15 yourself too. We do, every time. and that's why Broly's really strong right now because 
well, even though people should be, I think that if you're gonna match on him, you should probably just super dash because at least the super dash will beat the the throw. Yeah. But with Foley, a lot of people are focused on the point that you, you can't mash out of his command grabs, and that makes things a bit most of them because if you if you're doing a fuzzy mash, you'll get grabbed. Yeah. But what, at a high level, people if they think you're doing a command grab, people are gonna super dash or jump. Yeah. So like that's not as valid for me. So I think it's. I, like I, I think he's in a great place right now. I think they should nerf uh, his, his light Larry. It shouldn't be four frames. It be yeah, it's too fast. It's too fast. But you light get punished Larry, on block, right? Light Larry. Punished on block. No, but the, you know the broken thing is the vanish scenario. Yeah, so you, you can, can delay, vanish. delay yeah. vanish. Yeah. Well, no, you know when you you know when you do beam vanish on Broly, he can just do L Larry. Oh, like, true, will, true. Yeah, that uh, that's broken. That's broken. Yeah, he can always else, get punished. Everything else is like yeah. okay. He he would be. I think he would actually be the best character in the game if they didn't nerf his damage. They did touch his damage yeah. really good, man. Those level yeah. three in our stage was, and I feel it now too. When I level three, someone with Broly. Yeah, I'm like, Whoa, I see it. Not dead. Yeah, I see it. Because when I first started playing him, because I've been playing Broly for like ever since season three dropped. Right. So I've, yeah, I've been peeping in. Yeah, so like whenever I'm doing like doing combos, when I got hit by Sage, I'm like, what the fuck, I used to die, but yeah. now I'm just not dying, or like I, I'm not doing the damage I think I'm gonna do. That's why I picked uh, base Goku. Yeah, his damage is always there, baby. Yeah, it's... and base Goku yeah. just gives me meter because Broly gets damage from meter, right? So right, the more right, more right, meter right. I have, the more I'm just gonna dump it and just I do a billion think damage. That base Goku is just, I think he's really strong. Yeah, I called it. I, I called it season at the end of season two. I was like, they're gonna make this character busted. They're gonna yeah. make him easier to play, and that's what they did. Cause they added limit break. He's so yeah, limit break with a with a Kaioken is just yeah. You you legit can just do whatever combo you want, but if you know combos, they're they're dead two hits every yeah. time. Even I without like... limit break, like if you command grab someone and you know the combo, that's forty percent of command grab. Every, yeah, every time. Every time, every it's not even that hard either. I don't think they made his combos easier, but they feel really easy now. Are you are you considering him at all? This I, I, yeah, I right thought now, about it when when I was going to tournaments. Like at the start, I I got like a month's worth of playing offline, season yeah. three, and so the first week I didn't feel that. Uh, see, I hate talking about the game sometimes because I seem like such an asshole. But yeah, I feel like no one was better than me, or like close to like the skill level that I was playing at, even in right. the start. I felt like I was losing the matches I was losing because of my character, which is GT Goku. Because GT mm. would GT would be in the screen and I wouldn't have Kid Buu, and I'm like, well, I cannot do a mix up, right? Yeah. And my yeah, buttons yeah. are all bad because they all got nerfed, so I can't disrespect you, and uh, like I can't just like magically win a scramble. I have to like finesse you in neutral, kinda. So like he's he became one of those characters where like you just gotta outplay the person in neutral. You can't really just hit them, do block string, die because he can't even do a block yeah. string anymore. So I, I I really thought about dropping GT Goku for base Goku at one point, but then I just thought oh, about yeah. it and I was just like it's it's not good enough. And G the thing that keeps me playing GT Goku or kept me playing was um there's no assist. There's no assist that breaks the game down like GT Goku. Right, because especially when, for Kid, yeah, for Kid Buu. I mean, just in general, dude. For Kid Buu, Bardock, like just playing the game in general, mm -hmm. no assist when you call it link like stays out for that amount of time. It's perfect. It's not too long. And it's not too short. Right. Yeah. You get hit. I can confirm from full screen. I can just run up and hit jab. If you air block it, you get jailed to the ground. You can't do anything. If you're on the ground and you block it, the screen is split into three parts. You're either blocking the beam, you're under it, or you're over it. So I can easily react to what you're gonna do. You can't do anything. You're you're actually smoked no matter what you do. So that's why that assist is fucking broken because it so it legit solves the game like at that range or no matter where you right. call it. Yeah. Right. No system mechanics are gonna give you an issue from right there. And I, I think that is the biggest thing for me, with GT. Um, not only that, you. Not only that, it's like he. He just invalidates so many people who are not going to play neutral in a way like like it's like someone who takes real big advantage of super dash. They're gonna hate GT Goku a lot, and that's eighty percent of players you might play before a top sixteen or top thirty two. Yeah, that's most players. 
yeah, I think that's really, really good. Man. Um, I he I, I when I was playing him, the major thing I saw was that if I use if I use ex um, ex Rasengan yeah. the correct way, then it's it's not like he, he I'm not as upset by the nurse because I'm like hmm you know this is half a bar and I get two chances to get in on them whereas last season I had to use a lot of more of my normals and stuff like that yeah and I'm not trying to do that in a tournament like not with yeah. people that can super dash and stuff like that exactly so, it's, it's a character yeah. where you have to have really good air to air right right yeah. and, and I don't not feeling it. so it, I wasn't feeling him mm. but now it's like as I play him, I'm like, wait a minute. Especially when I use him with characters like base Goku or um, base Goku or who else? Like a uh, Bardock. Yeah, I, I really just cool. feel so strong, man. I feel so strong. What do you feel about Bardock B? Is it is it really that darkness? Not really, honestly. I think it's the uh, like the idea of it. Oh shit, this thing's like plus. 48 and it tracks you but it's like bruh I can just jab it or I can just jump or if you threw a key blast at me I'm just gonna reflect it anyway right uh, but the other thing too is even if you block it what are they gonna do they're 2 plus that's what I was thinking cause I play, I, I I've played against it a, uh, a couple people have played against it uh, like offline when I was playing and I, I block it on purpose so I'm like okay show me why you wanted me to block it and they just right. run up and do button into something I'm like bro <laughs> I'm, I'm. You are way too plus, and I can like OS guard off of this because I'm, I'm right. so minus. So right, like, what right, are you gonna right, do? Right, right. You know, right. if you block string into it and you do a special move, I'm just gonna guard cancel. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's yeah. Like I said, man, your 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 IQ on the game is very. Not only do you have you have you have a great way of of thinking about things, but more importantly, you have your own way. Like I like I said, twenty minutes ago. You said something about um, just Bardock and in, in, in the way he's being played right now um, in regards to him possibly being the best character. And I'm like, you know, I just never thought of it that way. And that could be perhaps from because you come from Marvel. Um, I'm not sure. But when I look at Bardock, especially now with, with the way he's progressed as a character, I am. I was playing when I was playing him yesterday. I was like, "Yo, oh, you might still be the best." You know, mm -hmm. him and G, him and GT under the right conditions. They're mm -hmm. conditional. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. thing. And, and 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 you can't brain dead your way, especially with now. I feel like Bardock's a lot like uh, Sagat, or mm -hmm. or if you play if you played against a Virgil in Marvel Three, you know, this is a character that people like. We've seen it before. You know, yeah. people are ready for him. So now when Bardock wins, unless it's like something with Bardock B, where it's completely new, and I'm like. That's crazy. Now when he wins, I, I expect the players playing against him to have a game plan. You know, year yeah. one, okay, understandably. Year two, you know, whatever. But year three, complaining about losing to Bardock now is something that I, I, I can't agree with anymore. Mm -hmm. Because he is still really strong, but it's like it's like the guy that you know is tall. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you go play when you go when you go play basketball with him, you know he's going to the post. You know he's gonna be there. Yeah. What are you gonna do to stop him? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Bardock see the thing about Bardock is there's nothing well, I don't know. I mean there might be some people hiding shit, but there's like nothing that he's gonna do that's gonna catch you off guard. I don't right. think. He's very he said there might be people hiding. I don't know, dude. Goichi might have some shit. Every time I play him, he does some shit to me and he just he he, he hits me with the shh. Right. I'm like, yeah. bruh, right? So, like, like at finals, when he broke Sage's legs, I never saw him do that mix-up in my life. I had never seen him. I had never. He, he did that to me, and I was like, he won't do this shit in tournament. There's no way like, he'll do I, it. I called Sage, like, two months ago after I watched it. I was like, bro, you got your legs broken. What happened? <laughs> Honestly, I think everyone would have, bro. Like, but, but anyway, yeah. Like, I think that Bardock is, he's very, like, textbook. He's only, he's I think he's only textbook. broken with Kid Buu. I, nah, see, that's why I, I think I think him and base Goku is really stupid. Yeah, base Goku is good too. I think him and base, but I, more I just think the EX change is it's ridiculous. Like I don't get why they thought that was. I, I think that move should have been they they tried to nerf it like to say they nerfed yeah, it block styling. Yeah, yeah, but it's still man like that's no other character can just be like I'm in. Yeah, like, 
but but on the flip, you know, and that's what the reason with I was thinking about with eighteen. I was like, with her, no other character can bury or assist, you know? That's true. So it's like, like on the defensive side, she got that, I feel like. But on the offensive side, it's like, this character, eight frames from anywhere on the screen at any time, and he gets to do it twice now. Mm. Um, yeah. And it's just really, really strong, man. So, like, I I think that he's definitely a contender with the, when used with the right characters. Cause I, I would only put him personally, like, if you're really trying to win... I see some people thinking about Bardock Broly, but that's not that like, good. Yeah, I don't think like when I see Bardock Base Coup or I see Bardock Kibu, I'm like, Ugh. yeah. Ba- Bardock Kibu is hard though. I think it's pretty hard because you have to. I think it's hard. You have to win neutral. It doesn't win yeah. neutral for you because it's yeah, it's a mix up assist, right? So you have to win neutral. That's number one. And then after that, after you win neutral, it's brain dead. But um, no, I definitely yeah. agree with you. I think that's a. I think. A Bardock Kid Boo is much more difficult to to play than people give it credit for, and that's yeah. because Bardock's on the team. Yeah. And it's just like, this is easy, you know what I mean? But in reality, it's, it ain't. It's, it's it pretty. Ain't. How many people play that shell at high level? Not, not very many. <laughs> Two. Not very Two. But that's why I think, I think Bardock Kid Boo trunks. Like, yeah. you're playing Bardock Kid Boo GT. And, I, and I thought I, about I, playing that team. Yeah, I think that's really good because with trunks... You you can ki- change the future. You can kind of do change the future. Call Kibu and get away with things, or call Bardock. And it's because that move is so busted. I think about it a lot as as compared to doing like uh, as when I compare it to like um, Goku, for example. Like there's no move Goku can really do that will beat just outright invalidate characters. But I was thinking about GT, and I'm like that assist combined with with you know EX Orb. Mm-hmm. I see why people would still play this. Uh, it's just that I think Trunks is a better anchor. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has way more survivability. Well, who do you think the best anchors are? Let's hear that. Best anchor? See. Let me go to character select. The best anchors. Base Goku is up there. He's like top three for sure. Right. Uh, Z Broly. For sure. S Broly. S Broly. It's a problem. And people don't think it's a problem. You just either. mash. You just mash. Yeah, you, you actually... Legit- <laughs> yeah, you actually don't need to know what you're doing. You can just mash and it'll work you out. You don't even have to know. You just know the combos. Yeah, you just yeah. It. You know the two combos, the one off the 5M and the one off the jab. That's really all you need. Yeah. I, oh, what's up, JM Crofts? Yeah, Yamcha is up there too. Yamcha's actually yeah, stupid. Yeah, I think Yamcha is. Really if you get crazy. hit by Wolfang, that's 45 gone. And no, it's funny because no they don't think they're not thinking about Yamcha right now. And I'm like, dude, he has a beam now. He still has Wolfang fist assist. Yeah, he he got ex wolf half bar like the, these half bar ex wolves. Oh yeah, that's just busted. Problem. Yeah, it's insane. Oh, Trunks is really good. Trunks is strong. That's what I'm saying. There's so many picks for anchor. Vegeta, just like, Vegeta got better. Still good. Yep. Uh, we have Ultra Instinct Goku. He, you know that would be interesting if he yeah. came out. Was a, uh, maybe so. next week, right? Next week's the ninth. I think it's next week. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just hoping he, he has a mix up and a good assist, and people. He will has. Play. Well, if you read the descriptions, uh, someone translated the V jump uh, scan mm-hmm. of his special moves. He sounds like Bardock to me. Interesting. He has a move yeah, that's plus on block. He has a deep. He has a legit DP. Oh no. Uh, he has counters and shit. So like, he sounds like everything in the game in one character. I think they can, they have to make him top tier. They can't mess up like Jiren again. Yeah. Uh, like they that is this is UI Goku. Yeah. Uh, it's speak, on the fucking can, he's in the game. He's in the cover of the game, bro. Exactly. It's fucking Goku. It has to be busted. <laughs> I think they nerfed SSJ Goku just so we could play the other Goku. It's, it's that's, that's so stupid. The reasoning they yeah. they gave for nerfing to M is so stupid. To establish a difference between the characters. They all have the same fucking normal. 2M. (laughs) It's the same fucking normal, bro. It's so stupid. I don't know. Like, I personally, I didn't like playing against GT Goku. I mean, uh, SSJ Goku. Because the game plan was so easy. But I am not an asshole. And I don't think they should have killed a character. No, but... Because then it makes the game so whack for so many people. And that's all I care about is people playing the game. It makes it so whack for so many people. At least competitive, too. I feel like people would have kept playing. I feel like people would have played Trunks and Yamcha at the rate they're going to play them now, whether SSJ Goku was strong or not. Like, all that yeah. would have. The SSJ Goku players would have just kept playing. Like, they wouldn't have been like, we're dropping. Like, yeah. Still really, 
you know, because he has mo he's the only one with a beam with multi and key blasts, which is important. Yeah, um, his, his, so him, him as a character, like package wise, was so good. Yes, wasn't bust. Yes. I don't think was really busted. Was busted if you were uh, if you were nice at the game. Characters busted, right? Right. But like mid mid level is like it's fine. The character's fine. They hit two M. You got hit. You didn't block low. <laughs> I do think that him and Kipu were a bit of a problem last season. I think that was really strong. That yeah, for sure. Cool. For sure. It, it was it, for me. It was like man, I'm playing against Cell, but I don't get fuzzy. So I was really. It was really. That was a difficult show for me to fight. I felt like that was that could have possibly won um, Evo as well. Yeah. Um, right now, though, especially, and I want, and I want to get your thoughts on this. What do you think about eighteen right now? Especially seeing I'm um, playing her, um, the online success that I have occasionally with her. How do you feel about the character, and do you think her stock went up? Or hmm. Android eighteen. I think she is pretty good. Right. Uh, what did they do? They made her auto combo better. That was the most important thing that people don't realize. Like. You can actually combo confirm combos now. And yeah, something. yeah. They made her auto combo better. They made they just gave it a bigger bigger hitbox, right? Yep. yep yeah. That's it. Um, I think she does more damage in general too, right? Or am yeah, I tripping? She, no, she, she. They took some combos away. Okay. But so, bro, the, she has she has ex seventeen combos that people aren't doing either. Oh like, really? There is. Yeah, there's with certain assists you gotta have the hit stun, but it's it's. It's strong. Um, it's strong, and I feel like she had high damage. But the the only person you see playing her is Shanks, and yeah. Shanks' team can't take advantage of everything. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's very specific. I felt, yeah, yeah. I felt like the DP assist, you know, kind of would hinder things a bit. Mm -hmm. Whereas having assists where you can always get that dragon rush, you know, it's a bit different. Um, I like you don't you, you don't feel like the uh, EX seventeen change was was really strong. <laughs> I feel like it is, but see, I thought it was not broken, but I thought it was really, really good when I was reading it on paper. But then when I played uh, against it, and when I um, it's slow. It's slow, and you can negate it if you. So the thing is, if you understand the defensive mechanics, right? right. If you up tech, there's no fifty fifty, right? You can you, block it if you delay. Well, if you I delay, I haven't found one yet. I haven't found one yet. Yeah. So I'm if you de if you delay up tech, right? Because they have to do it, they have to activate him at a certain point. Otherwise, they're just not going to meaty. You're not going to meaty, right? Right. So they have to activate it at a certain point before you tech. So if you delay up tech, you black, you uh, you block like the last part of it, and it's not that bad, right? You just force yourself to be super minus, but no fifty fifty, and then you just block. So that's what right. I would do if I be was believing in my defense. I'm like, well, he just used this. 15 or 18 can't really do like 50 50s like that it's all up no. to you to react so at that point i'd be like okay i'm okay let me just block and react right right but if you're really lazy you could just wake up reflect and then just react accordingly see, see, that I, I think that's one scary though it is scary up, I think, yeah it I, is. I, I think i think that's i think if you have to wake up reflected to prevent a mix-up then it's like a bar off level three yeah and it forces a decision yeah so i'm i it's for me, and like I said, I, I'm I'm confident that there is a 50-50 that I haven't found yet. Uh, but for me, a lot of it is just sight. Mm. You know, if, if you can't see, I, I don't think anyone's going to block that every time. That being said, I don't think, um, I don't think that, since it's something that only is really relevant in the corner, I don't think that it's, you know, busted. Me, my bigger thing is I think the half bar EX17 is a big problem. Like, I think that's the stronger thing, to be honest. Because you look at a team like, look at Hook's team, for example. Mm. You know, he's playing base Jita, Piccolo, whatever. And, or look at someone who really needs their assist to fight. You know, the, just because she does EX17, it doesn't mean she can't use assist. It yeah. just means she can't blow him up. Yeah. But, like, if I if you can't use assists, you're not gonna jump as more. You know you're not gonna do that bard out that lariat assist. You're not gonna do those things. Mm -hmm. So it gets people to stay in the same place a lot more, and then she can take advantage and call hers or get her assist back. Um, I think that I I don't know. Like I I I really think that she is super duper whooper strong, 
but you can only play her with certain characters, and that limits a character a lot, I feel like. Like, I don't think her and Adult Gohan is going to work this season. You know, yeah. Whereas it worked last season. I don't think her... I see people playing wild stuff, like her and Cooler. It's always a DP assist. Yeah. Yeah, um, they, well, they just think of combos. Right, right. They're right, just thinking right. about combos. Guys, with well, DP assists, they let, you know, they bounce you in 17, you recover, you do a combo, right? Right, right. Um, How do you feel about Kefla? <clears throat> like, like Kefla? what are your honest I think I, I'm just going to shut up. I, I think, like okay, so at first, I, I asked Goichi about it. I, I, I asked him, I was like, why do you think this character is good? And basically, he just gave me the the TLDR. She makes you do something when I hit you. But then I was like, but what if the opponent jumps and you can't gel them? Because your normals right. are all slow and they're really not that good in there. And he was like, well, that's why I play Frieza. And then he dropped the team, right? So yeah. that character loses to you having good movement, I think, is the, the problem. Because her normals yeah, I, are... Uh, go for it. Sorry. No, no I was... You finished. Yeah, that was a great dog. I was just gonna say the same thing. Yeah. So like, she can't really gel you, and if she gels you, what is she gonna do? Because the overhead offline, just, the command just, overhead, isn't good. And you can if no. you're if you're if you're you know abusing options, you're gonna fuzzy mash, you're gonna fuzzy jump, right? Right. So that gets smoked. Uh, her not having that high option or like something that she can do special move into IED, you just block low against her. And react to right. the overhead because the the lariat esque move is low, so they can't do anything but that. Her normals are minus on block, so you can punish her most of the time. Um, but yeah, I don't think she's really that good. I so I, I I think she's very good, mm. but I think it's a lot of untapped things. Like I think that four frame teleport. Like once people get super finesse, or uh, let's say I'm playing her with Bardock. Okay. Right. Every time. Teleport Larry. Teleport Larry. Anytime they're right. Like that's insane. You know, and that's gonna be really hard. Yeah. I, I I thought about that too, but um I don't I just you know, she has so much recovery and right. like I guess if you're really good at punishing uh, excuse me, like if you were to use the teleport to punish someone and then call assist, but there's not many things that happen Situation. on the ground. Well, I, I feel know? like I feel like like if you did something like and maybe Bardock was a, a bad example because I'm thinking about it, and that's, that's no, yeah, a, I know what you mean. Just teleport, call, assist. Know, yeah, yeah, but but you would have to be. They would have to. The movement would have to be paused. But or they would have to commit like her, something on the her ground. and GT though. You know yeah, what I'm that's good. Like yeah. that, that would be insane. And then you set up whatever. I just think people had it wrong with them believing her function was 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 Bardock. Like yeah. I look at her hit and I'm like, first of all, you're right. The mix up is kind of weak. Yeah. Um, but like I look at her kit and I'm like, you know, the raise on Oki mm -hmm. is is that is really good just for her to have, you know. Yeah. And I feel like Goichi didn't like tap it out either. I feel like there are lots of this is like the guilty gear player, thing, right? So I feel like the raise on Oki is a lot more powerful than people get it credit for. And I also feel like that her, uh, for me, noon characters that are top tier or the best, I feel like they're either way better at everything than the other characters like Bar okay yeah or they have stuff that other characters don't have so like when i look at her she has that anti-projectile move that goes from screen i'm like uh, wait two, three, six. you know yeah i'm like if i do this if i tiger knee this that covers a large amount of space and with everyone playing beams this season that's really powerful you know so do that into a sister whatever if they if they block if they don't block it call gt and they're, they're gonna have to block something anyway Mm. I just think, you know, if her mix-up got solved, because I think that's her big thing. Yeah. If the mix-up got solved somehow, some way, like it, uh, because I think her uh, kid Boo isn't that bad. I think. It yeah, would I don't be... think it's. I don't think it's that bad. Yeah, I, I think it would be good. I just think people are like trying to play her like Bardock, and like you said, she does not have his normals. She don't have. She's not Bardock, you mm. know. But I can agree when you like. I can see the logic when you said she's not that good. Like I'm not gonna argue like yeah. she is that good. Because no one's shown when the, any of the things I'm talking about, including me. Like I don't play her. Yeah, well, I think she. Most of the time, yeah. when I say like a character is not good, because I think people just take it at like face value. Yeah, I'm they talking, don't realize they're not one of the best. Yeah, like if that character cannot beat X, Y, and Z, starting with Goichi, then the character is mm -hmm. probably not that good. Right. In, in the context and, of this game, so like. 
when you gotta the way i think about it is like could this character be good enough to beat these people right knowing how they play this game the characters they play right and the habits you know that uh they have right because i've played against all these dudes for two years at this point so i understand right. them right so when i say character is bad that's what i mean i'm just i think they're not good enough like they're good they're not horrible they're just not good enough to win yeah i i, I don't think one second excuse me i had to sneeze no problem. um i don't think that i don't think that i i i share your reasoning Mm. I should, like I share that when I say they're really good or they're contenders, I I do think the character is really strong and has this amount of potential. But it's happened to me tons of times where I'll I'll come to a tournament, Frieza, i.e., okay. or with twenty one, and I'll sit down. and I'll be like, this is really strong, and it is strong. But if you're not going to open them up or you're not, it's not going to work against Femrich, then you're not going to win the tournament. So it's yeah. not actually strong. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, it's really easy to just mention things, but it's hard to do things in, pack, in practice. Um, and that's why when I, when I see people still rocking their Kid Boo Bardock or whatever GT, whatever it is, I'm like, these people, they it still works this season, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, and that's really important to not have to completely learn something else. That's why Sage was a bit upset about the Goku thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I would be too. Cause I mean, we all we all thought like, okay, we're gonna have to go into season three. It's gonna be all these tournaments. You know, it's really competitive, and yeah. you know, I have to relearn this shit. But you know, world events happened, and now there's no tournaments. Right. So How have you been holding up with that? Why don't you, you Mister Consistent Streamer wise? Yeah, you? I, I'm okay. Yeah. Uh, luckily, it hasn't really affected me too much. Right. Uh, but I'm okay in terms of everything. Like I'm streaming, I can still stream, so I can't really complain. So I'm okay. Yeah. Right. I hope right. you're doing well, all right, good. bro. I hope you're doing all right. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm doing okay. Outside of me having to be home 23 hours a day. Yeah, yeah. Um, that That's the only thing driving me crazy. Is can't, can't really go outside. So. You know what's crazy, though? But we we still have takeout. So it's like... Uh, that's true. I just be eating... Like, now it's like I have an excuse to eat whatever now, which is which is pretty funny. Um... Damn, there was a one. There was a. Oh, what do you think about Snap New? Because I, I don't know why Snap. people haven't asked. Yeah, do you feel like, especially with your team, right? Because okay. with my team, I don't care. It's like because I'm going careless pride leads to an early grade. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not about to be playing the Snap game. I'm just gonna put him on you, and we'll see what happens. Yeah. Whereas with other characters, that's not possible. So what are you doing to you know effectively challenge? Uh, people in their defensive habits. I feel like Kid Buu is a really good character to do it. What do you think? So, the snapback. I so of course my team. Once I started using snapback, like in the end, I don't know if you're watching, but like in the end, like World Tour, when I was using snapback, like there was a match I was losing against I think Fenrich, and I hit him, <laughs> and he lost an entire character. He got snapped once, got two M'd, and died. So it was like back then, <sighs> if you could use it effectively like you know fuzzy loop and then it's over right if you could use it like that busted my team was super fucking busted right and it gave kid boo auto time setups it gave gt auto time setups right, right right so it was super fucking busted like in the end right uh the the japanese players fucking figured it out specifically motto he had the most annoying fucking game plan so what he would do was every hit no matter if it was 2m 2h he would always snap me didn't wow. matter he would he legit could kill me i'd have like 50 percent. he would just snap me say fuck it snap right because he wants to kill the other character right he'd rather not kill my bardock he'd rather leave bardock alone he'd rather kill my gt goku so what would he do he'd combo into ground snap in the corner no matter what right because he played gt and ssj so he would always combo into ground snap as kid boo do uh side switch snap vanish ground snap m ball auto time safe jump can't dp can't level three right nice. do that do the long ass string both assists come back by the end of the string by the way <laughs> and then what he does is he does h ball or h into l ball true string call gt goku super dash call ssj uh so for a, fi a true 50 true 50 50 yeah and like it's hard as fuck to block right so, so you can't see, yeah. yeah, you can't see and you can't like is a true string. You can't do anything, and you got snapped. Right. So you had the A spark, 
or uh, fucking or block it. it. He, might, he might reset his assist. Again. Ex exactly, right? Yeah. So that was like the end game. If Kid Buu stayed the same, that character is the best in the game, right? But they snap, they, they nerf snap, and I don't think it was a big deal for my team. Because when I was playing people um, off or offline, right, for that month, because I had four WNFs to practice, right? Right. So when I played everyone, I really didn't feel a difference in how I was winning. Like, when I, the way I was hitting people was the same way. I would win neutral by outweighting them, or I got a really good assist call, which is two of the ways I'll win. I camp someone till they lose. Or I call GT, they blocked it, and they died, right? So I really didn't see a difference besides snapback. I thought about when, when I got happy birthday, right? I thought about how much potential damage I could do to the point character. And then I think about the blue health. If So I don't, I don't stress snapping a character anymore. Right. The only time I'll think about snapping is if the anchor is really annoying in the mid break. So I'll snap. But when I snap, I realize that's turn over. Yeah, exactly. And that's yeah. What, that, and that's what people don't get. So yeah. you said something really. That's somebody clipped that. It's not. It's really not your turn for a lot of these teams. And like people will snap in Z Broly while I have like six bars or something, and I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you fucked up. Oh. Yeah, I'm up. like that was not. I'm like I was trying to get yeah. him in anyway. Snapping you know Z I mean? Broly is horrible because you have you can you can't meet me, so I'm gonna hit H. Yeah, I and armor. my H has armor. I can exactly. I land before you do, so I can air dash. I could double jump. Exactly. You know? I feel like, and a lot of people are are having that mindset because they think it's Marvel. They're like, oh, this fuck this character. I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, it's you're not, it, yeah. You're not gonna kill him. Like you gotta win neutral. Yeah, and it, it's the idea of like I hit you, I comboed in the snap, my turn. Like I earned my turn, right? But right. they changed the mechanic. It doesn't work like that anymore. I saw. I just. I saw, I saw a lot of people in the beginning be like, oh, this game sucks because you can't snap, blah blah blah. But then I'm like, you guys fucking got it taken away because you complained about yeah, it. Yeah, because you complained about it. And <laughs> this is your fault. These are like the, these are like the Vegito players complaining. I'm like, uh, it's oh, just like oh. it's everyone. It's an like everyone thing. It's the I, same I people think... that complained about like fuzzies or they complained about defense. One, they made right. defense too good in this fucking game. Which is why they, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too good. It's, it's actually way best. too good because yeah. when you think about it, there are no mix-ups in this game anymore. There are really not that many mix-ups. The only they, characters yeah. that can do mix-ups or use an assist to do mix-ups with, Barak B, a beam assist, or Kid Buu. If you're not playing one of those characters, you're not really doing a mix-up. It's very difficult. I agree. Yeah. So I that's why I... like. Well, you're putting yourself at a massive risk <clears throat> like to do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But keep going. I apologize. Yeah. But what I mean by mix up too is like true 50 50. Because to me, 50. doing assist, special move, ID button is not a mix up. That's a block shot. It's not, it's not a mix up. It's, yeah. it's definitely a block shot. When I, when I say uh, that, so many people don't understand the difference between an actual mix up and a well, block shot. You know, and shout out to Blazeful players. I, a Blazeful player was arguing with me months ago. Cause I was like, Susano don't got mix ups, dog. Like, he was like. <laughs> He's like, but what if I grab you or jab you? I'm like, these aren't 50 50s, man. Like, these yeah. are not. It's, when I say mix up, I mean, am I in dire straits if I'm blocking this? Like, is it. Yeah, like, you, a, you're just forcing it, me to react to something. Yeah, I'm, you're forcing me to react to something that's not yeah. unreactable. Yeah. You know, so mix up is like. Mix -up. Yeah, mix up is like, I'm forcing you to take some shit and you have to, you know, take it no matter what. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's how I feel about it. And I don't know, people just don't seem to agree with that reasoning. Yeah. Like that Like, they think, oh, but yeah, I could jab you or run and throw you. But I'm like, the throw is reactable. You're putting me in a scenario to where I can... I just have to react to things that I can react to. Mm. You know what I mean? And especially in this, this season, when you use both your assists, your pressure's over. Yeah. You know? Even, so, even more so because of the uh, assist nerf, the lockout time. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. 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 That that made it worse. Yeah. I remember, in, uh, like, I think I was talking about it with Derek. And he was mm -hmm. just like, yep, they took mix-ups out of the game. Because you can't fucking stagger on someone and just get your assist back. Like, you kind of have to end the pressure. 
or you legitimately uh, have to end it. Yeah, you can't. You can't do like like last season. Someone who was really good about getting their assist back was Tachikawa, because he would do like button, 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 right? Block string, and then like move. Okay, you block my fifty fifty, but I'm still plus. Mm -hmm. I do button dash OS, hit a button. His assist starts regening. You know that pressure doesn't work anymore. No, you can't do that. You legitimately have to stop. So that's why when yeah. I was playing offline uh, for like that month, by the second week, because first week I realized it. I'm like, fuck, I am not getting Kid Buu back. I'm not getting GT back. Like I'm Bardock, right? Or I'm Kid Buu or I'm GT. I'm not getting my assist back. So right. I realize it. I'm like, okay, if he blocks, I'm not going to try to sex this guy. It's not worth it, right? Because that's what people, people always think about like cheesing. They always think about like the what if, right? They're like, well, if this works, I'm going to get a hit. Right. So, what I think about is guaranteed things that are going to happen. So, if I play a character that has a really good jab DR, this is something a lot of people don't think about. One way to bypass the um, the fucking assist cooldown is have someone tech your DR. Ah. So, I will always do a super easy to tech DR. They'll tech it, my assist comes back immediately. There's yeah, no, there's no cooldown. Whether they got hit or whether they blocked it, it comes back fast as fuck. And my characters and post DR are busted. That's what I was about to say. Yeah. If your characters post DR strong, yeah. then you basically just reset your pressure. Yeah. And even though they can double jump or air dash, I'm not gonna challenge them like that. I'm gonna back dash. Because I recover fast, I back dash. If you hit a button or do special move, I'm gonna whiff punish you. Mm -hmm. And if you try to super dash or jump out of the corner or do something, I call GT Goku. Or I air to air you. You know? And then I do my other assist is a mix up assist, right? So then Boom, problem solved. So I don't really have yeah. to worry about that scenario too much. These, it's, it's, yeah. it's interesting because right now, right now, people aren't thinking, they're just thinking my thing got adjusted. Mm. Right? So, like, let's take, let's take, uh, that's why, I, like, if your thing gets adjusted, you have to just make adjustments. Like, there's going to be a top tier. Yeah. That's what people don't think. They think, oh, Snap got nerfed. So, there's no top tier. Like, there's no, there's nothing that's going to be able to take advantage of Snap getting nerfed. Or, like, yeah. in this situation, there's nothing that's going to be able to take advantage of whatever. Like, like take Bardock, uh, Tyrant, Tyrant Rave, for example. Mm -hmm. Like, if I do Keyblast Tyrant Rave, like, I'm going to get my assist back. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, yeah. And that's plus. So, Bardock is still, he still ignores, or he's able, he has another option to fight the system. You know what I mean? And that is really 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 powerful so characters with extensions like that yeah or the command grab characters or people using system mechanics like yourself like you're like you using the post dr thing that still means your characters are better mm -hmm. like because they have a better post dr so they are going to get their assist back so so it's not uh people thought it was just like a nail in the coffin for all every for character some character yeah back. Yeah, and in reality, it's like no, you just have to look at it a different way. Yeah, like that's a, a lot of, and that's what was me with GT Goku. Like I've been just looking at it a different way recently. Mm. And I'm like, you know, EX or plus assist or EX Lariat plus assist ain't too bad. It's half a bar. So like, is he really like? Yeah, he don't have some of the brain dead things, but he can still do stuff. You know what I mean? Um, and that's really strong. What do you think about 21? 21? I think she is... I think she is really good. Mm -hmm. I think her neutral is her best attribute, though. Of course. Yeah. I agree. I, I think her neutral is very uh, straightforward, but it's really hard to beat because it's so straightforward, right? So you're a 21 player. You know you're going to have to key blast, right? You of know course. You know you're going to have to do all these things from close up, mid screen, far. But... As the person blocking, it's really not that hard, or it's really easy to get baited into certain options. That's the interesting. Kind of Look at this guy. Listen, what a guy. <laughs> <laughs> what this yeah. dude, you spit it right now. Dude, stop I, I always no, I can't stop. I can't stop spitting. Oh, that I was always, always got to spit. Now you want American Idol? <laughs> that that is really. I, I think that's wow. That's interesting. Uh, that is very interesting to think of it that way because you, when you have a character like her, even even if something is streamlined and good, it's still like a tunnel vision type thing. Like they they're doing this, so I just have to be prepared for this because I know it's gonna come. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty. That's that's a really high level mentality to think of with that. 
I personally think I think she's better. Yeah. I think she's better, but I think she can only be played in one position. And I think that limits a lot of team building for her, which is another reason you're not gonna see her. Like like yeah. when I see the, the command grab change is nice, it's really good. Yeah. Because now she has that base Goku style. If if you're blocking, you gotta take this. Mm-hmm. But it's fair because the, the damage is weak. It's really bad damage, like even if you confirm it. As well as, uh, I will say another good thing for her is the the levels when she level threes you. Like she still the level three is the same. She had that last season, but me being able to level three you and then make you block plus twenty after level three you and doing whatever mix up is really strong. Yeah. So like it's like I spend three and a half bars and I get two back to back fifty fifties of some sort. Yeah. You know, the, the, so, if you hit the level three too, you get neutral tools. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So your setup, exactly. like your game plan. It's like Dormammu. It's like Dormammu. Yeah, your your setup, like your game plan is, it's given to you. Like you have, depending on what character you eat, right? You get the certain tools. Those tools are either pretty good or they're just you know okay. Like the barriers is just okay. If you eat like an alien or some shit and you get the Piccolo orb, she's fucking broken. Right. Like shit like that. So I think yeah, she's I, I, super good. I think she's really good, but I just think. I what think it's a high, said, that's a high ceiling character too. It's I think what you said is true. Like, are you picking her over Bardock in your team? You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. when people start saying that, like for I would say that, but you gotta the, the way the team functions that I'm playing, that's an okay to, thing to do. Yeah. Like eighteen just happens to have the the, the be able to jail with seventeen with twenty one frame assists. Yeah. So her having like their assists aren't that bad. But when I see Zebro and, and noon, I do think Zebro we is out of this world great right yeah but you can't like a lot of people are not gonna play that character because i'm not trying to like i'm not trying to deal with 21 frame block stun on my main assist Mm -hmm. like that's not good to me yeah so if i wasn't playing 18 i can't play z broly like i'm in person and a lot of people are like that that's why you've seen goichi stick with trunks yamcha how do you feel how do you think the the block stun of the assist is something that is very important to the anchor character because I feel like it, it is unless your character is taken advantage of. Uh, yeah, I mean that's what I was saying. Like Bardock B isn't as strong, right? Because <laughs> if you're two plus, what do you get out of it besides Every you made them block? You say Bardock B. <laughs> yeah, <bad>. like <laughs> it, it, I'm just tilted whenever people talk about that because the first month of the, of season three. Everyone's like, bro, you're not playing Bardock B assist? Bardock B. You're not playing Bardock B? What are you doing? What, you're playing Bardock A? What are you doing? Like, bro, trust me. Bardock A with my team. I have a fucking, uh, I have a command for it. Is it, is it, uh, is it Bardock? Fuck, I don't know what the command is, but there's a command explaining why I don't like Bardock B. Um, Bardock B. Freaking, yeah, like, my team is better with Bardock A. Bardock, right. Bardock B doesn't give me anything. I'm 2 plus. I cannot do a mix up. I can't do any of the same block strings I do with Bardock A. So, it's not that good with my team. It's good right. with other teams. Other characters can abuse it, but my characters cannot. So, I will not use it. You know? Do you feel like do you feel like um damn. Do you feel like what the, Oh, Trunks changed the future. Mm. It is a good assist. I see a lot of people arguing on whether or not to use Change the Future or Beam, and I'm like, yo, use the Beam. Like, what are you talking about? Because for me, when I look at Change the Future, I'm like, wait a minute. Like, if Change the Future is so good, then y'all would have been playing Trunks last season too. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I think people are talking about yeah. playing Trunks after the Beam. So, what are you saying? I the assist is good. think Change the Future is not that good. At the highest level, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't. I don't think so at all. Yeah. So the the thing is, at the highest level, change the future is garbage. I think. See that the thing I, is, most I people agree. can't understand that. Unfortunately, is the problem. That's the problem with a lot of things in this game is they only see and interact with the mid level. Hmm. Interesting way of you. You feel like once you get to a certain level, when people really do know just about every option versus everything certain things become invalid 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I, I say see. a lot of characters aren't good, or my team is better than X character, or this character is good because of that. I only right. say that because I know in the context of the higher level and the people that I'm playing against, these characters are good. That's why you have, like, people will complain about snapback, or they will complain about neutral or mix-ups or 50-50s, when in reality, it doesn't really affect them that much, and that's not really why they're losing that that was my thing with people complaining about GT Goku nerfs last season. Yeah. Because I was like, yeah, he should be nerfed, but you're not getting hit by any of this. <laughs> yeah. Like, you got hit by LL nine times. I didn't see you get hit by whatever Goichi did to Sage. <laughs> to, yeah. Like, like you, a lot you of. You get hit by darkness. Yeah, that was, that was fucking darkness. But, like, a lot of the stuff that people complain about don't really affect them. And that, no. those aren't the problems. <laughs> fucking no. Sage in chat. Um, yeah, like a, a lot of the things that people complained about weren't that valid, I don't think. Some of them yeah. were like Spirit Bomb, okay, like, yeah, they did take that away from characters that had it and then just gave it to this fucking character. Right. Uh, so that's fair. I think I that's thought fair. people were more mad that any other characters weren't good. Yeah. I think yeah. that's the, but that's the thing. I've explained this so many times on my stream. The thing about top tier and the thing about meta, this is a word that a lot of people just fucking love to say now. They just love to say meta. Meta, 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 meta. Whatever, right? The thing about meta, the meta in a competitive game or top tier in a game, is that no matter what you nerf or what you buff, there will always be a top tier. Yes. And you can hate one character. This if Imagine if this game was like fucking League of Legends and they updated this shit every four or five months or every time there is something fucking busted found right they do that or they no they up, they update the shit like almost every other month right so be, they do that because they have metas being developed in these weekly matches that are happening for all this money right so of course right. they don't want that shit to get stale because if that shit gets stale no one's gonna watch or exactly. the state of the game is gonna be fucking boring so the problem that we encountered last season was they said, no balance update all fucking year. So what happened? We got stuck with GT Goku. So the problem, though, with updating shit is you can't always be right, right? So if you're in charge of balancing, I don't know how they balance shit in those games, but let's let's say most companies that have uh, fighting games, right? They have someone that's good at fighting games working for them, right? That helps right. make decisions about, you know, shit like that. Like Guilty Gear or like um, fucking... Street Fighter, everyone knows it's fucking Woshige, right? Right. It's very public, that's Woshige. So, uh, Woshige is in charge of your game, and that's why all these characters are busted, or that these characters suck, right? <laughs> there you go. Um, but for a game like... Yeah. For, for a game like this, what they don't realize is if this game got updated as much as other games do, uh, it might suck. And they might not like it. Because, it yeah, because you could get good with a character and next week that character can be gone. Right? Yes. It's like it's like some Mortal Kombat vibes, like some NRS vibes. Like you legit could be the best fucking Yamcha in the world. And then next week they're like, Wow, you've been doing a little too much work there. Goodbye, Yamcha. And then what happens? Ginyu's top tier. And then mm -hmm. everyone's playing game, like vice versa. It doesn't matter. You can say, yeah, dude. You never dude. have time to figure out the meta. Yeah, because when the meta gets established... So here's the thing. Top players are lazy. Top players are lazy as fuck for the majority. Why? Because they have to go win these tournaments. They have to go place at these tournaments. Because if they don't, the stream monsters will say they're, they're washed. And that's the motivation. We don't want to be washed in the stream monsters' eyes. So <laughs> we have to figure out what's really good in order to get second place to Goichi. So we do this, right? But the thing is, if we, if they were to balance this game so much, we would just pick what Goichi picks or what the like top. Ah, you know what I'm saying? So the game would be worse in terms of meta. No, there's no meta that's gonna fucking develop. We're just gonna pick what he picks because he's the best, and that's what always happens in in other games. They'll always buy the best gun. They'll always use this loadout, or they'll ah, always pick this champion full yeah, because yeah. you know the, these Korean players are using it. So right. that's the apex of fucking League of Legends. So 
this shit is busted, and then the NA people use it, starts winning, and then vice versa. That's how shit happens, right? Because they're right. everyone's lazy as fuck. So all it takes is a couple dudes to be really good at the game, right? Because they're just fucking nasty. And then, uh, you know, we're all lazy, so we're all going to be like, well, Goichi beat my ass with it. That shit's broken. I'm going to pick that. And then everyone else is going to do it because they want to fucking win. They do it. And everyone complains about the meta and then bang that character gets nerfed this character gets buffed rinse and repeat it just keeps happening so it doesn't really matter who you buff or who you nerf in my opinion in fighting games because there's always going to be someone that's fucking broken so you can't satisfy anyone never yeah so that that's just I, my that's my opinion on it is that when people are like i fucking hate this character they should buff fucking um they should buff ginyu and then ginyu becomes broken right and then someone else is going to be like, oh, fucking Ginyu, so broken, dude. We need to buff this dude and nerf this guy, right? It's just a right. cycle, man. That's well, why... See, they, I, can't, yeah. they can't be... It can't be a thing where it's... It can't be a thing where it's... Uh, you allow it to get stale. Yeah. You can't allow... The, and, but it can't happen so much that people aren't allowed... They can't form their creative juices can't get flowing you know what i'm saying yeah that's why because i was cool with what they said at the finals in terms of balance adjustments 20, yeah i remember yeah. I they're remember. like we'll if talk. it if it's needed we'll do it right yeah. that's a, that's a pretty good statement to make if it's needed something's busted we'll do it or if something's not good enough we'll adjust it right so that's why i had faith that once tournament started they would revert the assist uh, assist change because that shit is trash and then maybe something with snapback, but I don't think they'll do that. I thought they would at least revert the assist change. I personally, so me, I like the assist change mm. because I, for a mixed amount of reasons, it makes it just makes it more like Guilty Gear. Like in Guilty Gear, you can't mm. jab, jab, reset pressure. Blaze Blue too, unless your character has a bunch of plus normals. You can't jab, jab, reset pressure. It's just more of a math game, yeah. which is why. <laughs> Bless me, I went, I went, I went someone uh, someone asked about the assist change. So the assist change is your assist doesn't uh, recover until your opponent has been out of block some for twenty frames. It's I think it's more than that, but it, I it hope really? it's twenty. I, uh, I think it's. I, more I thought I remember reading twenty frames, but it yeah. might be twenty. But it's a lot. Twenty is it's, a lot. That's a lot yeah. in this game. That is a lot because you're so plus on everything. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, it has to be twenty constant frames. You know. So that sucks because if you just sit there and wait for your assist to start recharging, your if your opponent is sentient, they will hit a button or jump sentient. or something. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Sentient. It's the same it's the same as the raw tag lockout, I see. That's what Sage said. So yeah. So I don't like that assist because at the highest level, when I make you block, it's hard to make someone fucking block. Okay? It's really, really, really hard at the highest level to make someone block. Unless, yeah. unless you're playing something OD like GT Goku assist, you'll That's make them block. Yeah. yeah, you'll make them block most of the time. But the thing is, it's annoying when you make them block so often and you get no reward, right? Yeah, that makes you go for strenuous things. Exactly. Yeah, you, that's you when get, you start. Then your DR gets mashed on mm -hmm. or something. Yeah, you, you try to sex them with DR, or you try to do like super dash, or like IED cross up, shit like that, yeah. right? Like, you try to go for not really good, not real pressure. You try to just sex them, basically. Right. Try cheese, rather. But, yeah, that's, um, yeah, I don't think that that change is very good. Because then, like, I see, that's that's the problem with me. I can't think about things outside of the high level. That's mm -hmm. how I, I can't look at it for people playing at the mid-level to, like, uh, watching shit. Because most people are not tournament players. Is, it sounds kind of harsh to say, but most people are not tournament players. It's not harsh to say. I don't think most people would disagree with that. Yeah. I mean, oh, I you mean know. even most, people? Yeah. You mean like even? I kind of see what you mean. Like, yeah, you know, you know what I'm the, saying. The, like the most vocal people are not the people that are. They're not, you know, one, they're not going to the tournament. Right. And two, they're not gonna like. They. How do I describe it? it see, that's what I'm saying. It sounds mad elitist, Sage. It sounds mad elitist. But it's not because it's reality. Oh, that was OD. <laughs> Thanos said a really good quote. Thanos said a really good quote. Reality is often disappointing. <laughs> reality is often disappointing. 
I'm sorry. So what are you? Are you Thanos? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not that OD. But that is how I, I perceive things. Because here's the thing: I've been there. I've been the guy that's not good at fighting games. I was there for a while. But you know what? I practiced a lot. I went to a lot of tournaments when I could. Not everyone can go to tournaments. I understand. It's kind of it. I don't want to say it's a privilege, but you kind of have to have things lined up to go to tournaments, especially in America. It's hard unless you're on the East Coast, then it's pretty easy. But oh, that's cap. Nah, nah, that shit's easy, bro. Nah, that shit's cat, easy. Bro. That shit's easy. That's Catch that thirty dollar bus, bro. Catch that thirty dollar bus. <laughs> Catch that thirty dollar bus. Go to the major. Get top eight. Easy, easy. Yeah, I ain't. <laughs> <new. No. laughs> In other words, they're ass. No, they don't have to be ass. I'm just saying when I make comparisons of the game, I just see it in a different way than most people would. I don't have a general opinion. I have my opinion that applies to a certain part of the game. Mm-hmm. Right? Which no, I, I which is what I think most people would perceive is pretty it's a pretty toxic way to look at it. I don't think so. I, I think, see that, that's I think the thing. People... You don't think it's toxic because you understand that level of the game. And you understand what I mean by that. Mm -hmm. Most people mm -hmm. don't understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So Therefore, it's toxic or it's elitist. I understand how generally it can come off as that. That's why I don't really get bothered when people say I'm an asshole or something. Because when I say things, I say them very generally. And it's kind of vague to an extent. But I think that some of my opinions can be, uh, can be seen as that way. But I don't really think that I'm an asshole when talking about the game, at least. No, I don't... I... I, I but yeah, no. you, you you have to you have to understand like unless you're doing something morally assholeless, right? You have to understand people's standpoint before you make oh, yeah. Opinion. So oh, yeah. I generally like for me anyway, even if I didn't agree with you, I'd be like, ah I mean he does go to tournament. You know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. a different standpoint. Yeah, a lot of people um, have a different way of perceiving things, right? Yeah. So that's why I don't really get bothered by it, so how, it, how do you feel about think, speaking of that? Because that's a great segue. With with us only having online events right now, I ain't seen you completing nothing. I don't blame you, I, but I haven't seen you compete in anything yeah. at the moment. You want the real something? answer? Yes, it's not worth don't. my time because because ooh, it's not a thing. legitimate like like I cannot. Sure. So here's the thing: the reason why I say it's not worth my time is because I am someone that really loves this game. Okay, I've never really said anything bad about this game. No. I am I am the biggest fucking nut hugger of this game. I shield the biggest. fuck out of it. <laughs> you, okay? you big shield gardener this game. Yes. Okay. I fucking play the shit. I think I've played the most out of a lot of people. I play this game od hard. I still play it right. now. There's... I haven't done. I haven't even done a first to ten in this game. You've done a first to to what sleep? Like yeah, basically. I don't know what the... Yeah, multiple I, times. I really like this game, okay? So, right. as someone that really likes this game, I recognized very early on, this is not a game you can play online. Mm -hmm. Because it is, not a, it is not a fighting game, one, and it is not the same game that I love. Right. So, therefore, it is not worth my time to play in a tournament, whether for money or f for nothing, right? At, at Like, you know, not a lot of online tournaments are doing tournaments for money or mm -hmm. uh like it's kind of like a fun thing right to me playing online is not that fun i stream myself playing online because this is the game i'm known for and what else am i gonna do right and it also <laughs> yeah. it also keeps me playing the game i like the game enough to subject myself to play it online right, right. so that's why but i play online it. is a it's horrible different it's a different game bad. that's why i play a completely different team online yes because yeah, because i'm see. playing that game you, know, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that is my opinion of online. It is not really a fighting game, and it is not worth like. It's just like I can't have, I can't watch an online tournament. No matter how like, like I can, I can watch the European ones because I can see them fighting through the lag. I can uh, I can see them trying to fight through the lag. You yeah, know what like I'm saying? they're legitimately trying to play. Yeah, they're actually, actually trying to play the game. It's just someone's gonna hit the super dash eventually, and then what happened? Right. Whoops, you know. 
Yeah, I told the story of when me and Sage at CEO 2019, we went downstairs uh, it's on a Sunday because it was only Friday and Saturday. Yeah. And we went and we played people. Me and, I remember it was me and Sage. And we, like me and him didn't talk too much, to, but we were, we were just chilling like he and I do when we had tournaments. Mm-hmm. And we played from eight. What was it, Sage? Was it like nine or eight to like two? So we got lunch after. And not one person was successful on the Super Dash, like the whole time. Mm-hmm. Like, and you know, some strong players got uh came by too, you know, some some of the top 16 players. And I'm just like, this is not something, this does not exist, like, yeah. in a lot of instances online. Yeah, I mean, offline, like, it don't, you can't do it, like, uh, unless it's a specific situation or like you have them really conditioned and scared. And when you, I see people using the system mechanics like that online, it's so, it's very tilting to me as well. Good thing I have so much fun playing 18 that it doesn't really matter. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, I can understand that that thought process because I was thinking when we was down there, I was like, wow, like, this shit, I've been playing this game, like, for a year and a half. This is really not a thing that you can yeah. do. And that's that, why I always, yeah. that's I always what, tell people, for like, it, that's, on, uh, that's online. Bro. Yeah. Like, that, you honestly can't do it. It's, like, it's a different game. I can do it. Fuck you, Sid. <laughs> they think like people be thinking it's salt and i'd be like no bro like you can't that's yeah, yeah. That, see that that's, that's the thing i was talking about though is see I, I i talk about i don't talk about this a lot i tweeted about it after the world tour is over but i think america in terms of fighting game players in regards to this game they're not really that good only like mm. not not th- like i'm talking about the general because the, mi- the mindset of the general player is much more lazy. Is much more lazy as, than that. Lazy as in how? Lazy in how they perceive, like how they try to understand the game, and <laughs> how they play the game. They don't put that much effort. They don't watch the videos. Depends on what their goals are, right? If there's someone that wants to win the tournament or do really well at the tournament, how much are you practicing? Because if you compare right. your, like maybe I don't know, everyone's situation is different, right? But if I was someone, I I went to college for a very for a while. And I was doing all these classes, but you know what? I was still one of the best in Dragon Ball. Despite that, right? Right. So what would I do? Not sleep. Or, you know, do a lot of shit. Do, like, I'd have to sacrifice a lot of free time. Or a lot of time that could be cut out for Dragon Ball, right? That's not something mm-hmm. that a lot of people could do. But when I go- have been to other countries, like other other places in Europe or Japan... These dudes do the same thing that a lot of us do, which is play the fucking game a shit ton. Watch the game yeah. a lot. Even if they can't yeah. go to tournaments like weeklies or stuff like that, they still watch a bunch of videos. They net play with the intent of getting better, which is something you can do in like Japan or Europe where they don't do random matchmaking, right? They have discords and shit. So right. you, you can do it. But um, yeah, like the, the average American player doesn't do any of that or not as well to the level of them you know the, the other average european or the other average japanese player i feel i mean you know <sighs> so i wouldn't say i would quote you like exactly and be like yo i agree with that mm-hmm. but i will i will say that ray ray made an interesting comment and i think it's true and i think it it's kind of uh leads into your comment um outside of sonic in 2018 when he won evo yeah, outside of Sonic, uh, none of us. I'm, I'm just talking about us, as in people I consider the strongest. Okay. I wouldn't put myself there. I mean, maybe with the, maybe with this show, <laughs> <laughs> it's this dude with this bro. It's crazy. But like other other than that, like I, I wouldn't put myself there. Yeah. But not anymore. I like I said, it hadn't been a tournament. Like yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been a while. It's, but I mean, like it's, it's really cheap now. Like, no, I I know. I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna beat somebody I shouldn't beat. <laughs> you love to hear that. You love to hear that. But um, it's it's like so. I would say you know when I look at us outside of um, Sonic in 2018 when he did the the Summit of Power thing he did. No yeah, one really power, tapped yeah. out. No one played something really busted and tapped it out. Yes. Like completely. 
you know, we would play a lot, but we wouldn't lab exactly or 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 pay attention to situations mm-hmm. exactly yeah. how the Asian players did, for example. And I'm talking about the very best. Like, yeah. Luigi trains a certain way. Scenario. Every yeah. character. Exactly. Mm-hmm. In the yeah, that's, so why, he, that's why I have the yeah. opinion that I do, because I was, and, well, I was like that. Right. And we never, during that time, I'm talking about last year mm-hmm. and uh, during 2018, we did not do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, and we also didn't play the best stuff. Yeah. Like, so, like, for me, I talked about it the other day on my stream. You brought up a good point, right? Not practicing good enough, right? Right. I, so, someone asked me about it. They're like, yeah, you weren't having the best season two at the start, right? Start season two, I really wasn't doing that well. I got, uh, I mean, relative for how I should be doing. I got seventh at final round, uh, ninth at NCR, and then ninth at KSV. Which is pretty good considering the level of players that are there. But still, right? Mm-hmm. I should do better, right? Um, and then, what what happened? I went to Japan, and then I got fourth in Texas, and then, oh, right, right, right. So, Combo Breaker, in my mind, doesn't count because my wrists exploded. So, I really wasn't playing there. So, that event never happened in my mind. And then, CEO, I got 17th, right? Mm-hmm. And then, Evo, 25th. So, by a lot of people's standards, compared to the first year that I had, to the second year, my second year was kind of bad right at least mm-hmm. that that kind of half like there were a lot of single digit results but then came like c combo breaker right really bad ceo kind of okay but like underperforming evo mm-hmm. not top eight so you're washed right <laughs> um and then after that is when i like evo was the turning point when i because when i went to the house and played with um like knack and all them before mm-hmm. um Oh, fuck what was the tournament defend the north uh i played son i had already picked up gt goku but i was playing like bardock gt yamcha i thought was the best team because i didn't think kid Buu gt was that good mm-hmm. right and then i played sonic and they fucking smoked me the worst they've ever beaten me in this game <laughs> like before that set i usually got some games right but i sat there for like four hours and lost like 50 games straight and i was like one, they are just better than me. I know that. I know that they're better than me by a lot. But it's never been that free. Mm-hmm. It's never been that bad, right? So uh, when Sonic sat me down and was like, dude, don't play your team. <laughs> play my team. When someone, when the best player in the world tells you, or one of the best players in the world tells you to do something, you should probably do it because well, you know especially after if they smoke you. Yeah, they like at that point, because I think the tournament was two days later or something. So they were just like, "Yeah, you should pick my team, and I think you'll do really well, right?" Because at this point, we're just Evo grind, right? So I wasn't even thinking about DTN. I ain't do that shit. <laughs> it's like it's serious. Serious. <laughs> so I was just like, I didn't sleep that night, dead ass. I actually didn't sleep because I thought. You know, it happens. You get fucking humbled, right? I legitimately thought I am going to smoke these people with my team. Yeah. I am going to smoke these dudes because my team is that fucking good. I pull up. My team really isn't that fucking good, apparently, right? And then I have to learn. I, I, I legit didn't sleep. I stayed up all night thinking about, wow, am I not good enough or is my team not good enough? So I decided it's both. So I need to pick the busted shit. So, I don't think I played the game again for another day, and then I picked GT in the middle of pool, like at the start. My pool started, and I was like, fuck it, it's time to pick GT Goku. I picked GT Goku, and I got second at that tournament, okay? And then, I started learning, and I knew for EVO, when I decided to play that team, I knew there was no way I could do really, really well at EVO, unless I I fucking, like, I, one, had to have the run. Which I kinda did. I had the bracket, I just I kinda I got upset, right? Really early on. Yes. So then I was like, alright, like I'm just gonna try and play my best because I don't think I'm good enough right now with this team. Slash at the game. Right? Because my mental wasn't good enough yet either. Right? That's the one thing. That's why I was doing really bad at the beginning. My mental was horrible. Right? So for me, after uh after Evo, I started practicing more. Because I really wasn't cu- practicing too much. I thought I could coast. That's the problem. I feel like that's a problem sometimes. Some people, sometimes we feel like we could coast or we get lazy. And other people are not like that. They're going to keep playing. They're going to keep practicing, right? So they're going to keep getting better. 
And um, that's something that I fell into the habit of doing in Dragon Ball because I was so busy with other random shit. Right. But se- season two, like the later half, I really just focused on the game. For me, the turning point where I was like, I suck, was Mexico. I played bad there. Despite playing, like, that was at least, like, three months after EVO. I played really bad there, and I realized that I wasn't playing my team to its full potential. And it was more of my fault. It wasn't the game or anything. I wasn't good enough. That's when I realized. I was, okay. I don't know. You, know, you gotta humble yourself like that. Yeah. Like, that's a, that, that's, that's an a, important yeah. part of becoming stronger, mm-hmm. is realizing that perhaps possibly you're, you're not, not that, as good as you're you. not as good as yeah. you think you are yeah you think you are because you can still be good yeah but you, you can, might you not can. be as good as you think you yeah are. That, that's you know? something i tell a lot of people is like you have to be able to get over yourself to get better tell them about how i opened your third eye of the universe fuzzy we'll get there that's japan that's japan but i can't but, believe y'all play with that crap i was i am glad i was not here for that dude so like no. so after mexico I confirmed that I was going to first attack. And for me, the whole this year was just about getting into the finals. That's all I cared about. Because ever since CPT, that's been like a dream for me. It's like, I want to be in the Pro Tour finals or some shit, right? And it just so happens, bang, the game I'm really good at, a game I love, has a Pro Tour. So I want to, you know, do well. So, um, so fucking, uh, after Mexico, I was like, okay, I... I want to win this tournament because it's the only way I'll get in to the finals, right? You're right. But then I got really lucky, and shout-outs to Cisco, shout-outs to Trezak, shout-outs to everyone else that subscribed, Chrome, everyone else to help me during that time. They People OD'd, and I got flights to Japan and Spain, right? right? So, But this was before I knew that I was going to those tournaments. I was practicing every fucking day for at least 10 hours. Every day, something new. All right, I need to practice this mix-up. I was fucking it up last week at this tournament. I practiced the mix-up for 10 hours for a week. I got it down. All right, time to practice. I'm not only doing that thing for 10 hours, right? But you know, you understand what I'm saying. Like, I'm practicing these different scenarios every day, right? Because I, I have the time to do that. And yeah, so when it came to first attack, I got second. I only really lost because, you know, Chris just outplayed me. Like, that's really all I was. And but I still got second, and that put me in the running. So that's how I knew. And I also went in with a really good mental strategy, which is important. Yeah, my strategy compared to the earlier parts of the year was literally have fun, just have fun. Good. Because I, the thing about me is when I stress too much. Because here I thought about season one. Because I was like, how did I have such a good season one, and why am I doing so bad now? Yeah, right, a lot more fun. Season one, I legit did not care about doing well because I knew that if I just played the game and I had fun doing it, I'm going to do well. That's why I pulled up to like well, those tournaments, so right? I was I had the same mindset. Yeah, that's, no, 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 that's what I'm saying. Season one, right? Yeah. But then yeah. I thought about it. I'm like, well, that is kind of lazy. So, but the, but the thing is, if I have fun playing the game, <laughs> but I take it serious in, ter- in terms of like, I'm not going to think about I have to win this game or I have to win this tournament. I have to win this match. I'm not I don't care. If I'm good enough and I make the best decisions that I can and I still don't win, there's a couple of things wrong. A, I'm not good enough. B, okay. uh my team might not be good enough or the other person just fucking better than me. That's really it. And that goes right, back to I'm not good enough, right? Yeah, that's and that's these questions are the questions you got to be able to ask yourself. You got to be able to be real with yourself when you're asking these questions. Because a lot of times, especially for online players, they will never be able to understand that when an online player goes offline, they can't, it takes a very long time for them to realize whether I'm winning because of me or I'm, or I'm, excuse me, I'm losing because of me or am I losing because of my characters? Yeah. You know? And that's a and that's another thing that happens when you don't play meta, right? Yeah. And that's why a lot of people just play meta because when you play meta stuff, and right, that's the buzzword this season. When you play meta stuff, it's very easy for you to realize whether you're good or not. Mm-hmm. Because if you're good, then you're gonna go even or beat the other people playing the things that are meta. If you're playing freaking Krillin, Janempa, whatever, then when you lose, it's harder. Some people. Yeah. Yeah, you can't tell whether or not you lost because you, you sucked or not. 
Yeah. You know, and, and that's really important. That, that's like one of the things I, I I had I told a lot of people at tournaments that I played before. They would, you know, people would ask you like, you know, how do I get better? Or what what was wrong? Yeah, they they I, playing Krillin. <laughs> yeah, they're playing like some shit that's not like busted, busted. I'm like, yeah, so I you can't even tell. I, 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 I yeah, that's that's what I always say. Like I can't really tell. Like you know, because I kind of just won. You know, I don't yeah. know what you can work on because my team just smoked you. You know. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <clears throat> that's a major thing. That it took me a long time to get that. I'd be playing Goku Black, and I'd be like, man, I just don't know why I can't compete at the, with the top. And you'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> you'd be like, bro, come on. Like, you, you know exactly why. Yes, sir. And I'm like, that's not true, man. And then Sonic will come in, and he's like, it's definitely true. That's definitely why yeah. you're losing. Uh, funny story, I remember him and I, we went to get some food. We went to get some food somewhere. And you know Sonic does this thing where he'll walk by himself. And like I'm really snuggly, like, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, listen, bro, you're not going anywhere yourself. You hear me? Okay. You you might be six foot, but you <laughs> you're not putting in a fight. He was just walking the streets. I'm like, no, son. So we went somewhere yeah. to get some to eat. This was at a tournament. This is when I whenever I played Frieza. Or I know was it NEC? I don't remember. Was ECT. It NEC or, ECT. It was. It might have been ECT. But yeah. we went some. He was like, he was like, look at, me. and he like fixed it. He like. Was, did he have the glasses then? He said, look at me. And he was like, I was like, what? He was like, bro, you got to stop playing Goku. <laughs> he was like, I, I I, actually don't know why you come to tournaments if you play this character. <laughs> there God, bro. Fucking Sonic. He's, he's like, you're good, but you're not going to win the tournament. And I'm like, that's how, you, that's how you know someone's your homie, though. Yeah, yeah. Friends yeah. don't let friends yeah. play. Friend, you. Friends will never let friends look stupid. If you do some stupid <laughs> shit, your friends will always be the first ones to tell you that you're fucking, to. you're a fucking idiot. I got that a lot this year. The amount of times Sage has called me an idiot, or the fucking Nakiel's called me an idiot, is great. It's, it's, it's fucking stuff. massive, bro. They've called me an idiot so much this year. Why? Because I'm well, a fucking idiot. And, right? But when you realize people care about yeah, you, yeah, exactly. That's what they're trying to do, you know. Yeah, because like, come on, like, I, I would look at my hands as I'm playing. I'm like, come on, dog, you, you, you're not actually going to. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> you're not gonna win with this character, like. Yeah. Or I, I would sit in training room for like the seventh <laughs> hour of my day, yeah, trying to find a fifty-fifty. That shit ain't gonna and happen, bro. Mess- yeah, I message one of y'all. I'd be like, yo, I think I found it. You're like, no, it's not. Like, <laughs> give it up, dog. Yeah. But you, people don't, some people aren't ready to do that. Mm-hmm. And that's like, it's that's, back like, when I was playing Zamasu. I was like, that, that, that's what I mean by like, uh, being a tournament player. Are you going to do everything you can to win the tournament? Or are you trying to exactly. win it? Are you trying to do things under your win own your conditions? Your way. Yeah. And that's not how that's the not, world that, works. That's, <laughs> reality is often disappointing. Yeah, that reality I, is often that, disappointing. You cannot do if everyone could do things their own way. It would be different, and that's not to say you can't have fun. Yeah, you can just, have fun, but just you, you might not get it exactly yeah, how you want. It. Yeah, like, exactly. You, you can't play Krillin, Goku Black. I realized uh, this. The reason why I am the way I am in terms of fighting games, bro. I went to a Marvel three tournament when I was like twelve. And I went to this tournament, and it was at this arcade by my house, and there were some really good SoCal players that went there. Why? I had a fucking pop bonus. I didn't know that. So they all pulled up. So what happens? I play this dude named 0491. He plays fucking Zero. At the time, <laughs> he was the zero. He was the best Zero in SoCal at the time, right? So I played him first round. He fucking deleted me. And I wasn't bad for a 12-year-old. Like, I knew how to play the game. But I was in my for me I, I was just a casual I didn't l- care about winning a tournament right I just was right. a fan of fighting games at the time and I liked watching the game that was my favorite game but this guy the way he beat me was so bad because I can tell he really wasn't trying he was talking to people while he was doing lighting loops to me like someone would just pull up and fucking talk to- he's having a conversation while he's beating my ass you know what I'm saying so <laughs> that like inspired me. To be like, if this guy really didn't have to try that hard to beat me, then why would I try that hard to beat him? Or, yeah, why? What if I played what he's playing? Yeah, 
Yeah. And then that'll tell, because I knew, I was like, if I cannot win with this, if I cannot beat people with this, I just suck. Right? right. So for, That's important. Yeah, bro, that was 2012. We're in 2020. I'm, I was 12 years old. That was almost eight years ago, bro. You were an early boomer. I, I am 20 years old now. That shit yeah. stuck with me. Look at the fucking team I'm playing. This shit's busted. <laughs> I'm not going to play a shitty team. I'm not trying. I'm not going to try to cheese Goichi with some shit when he's just going to do eight option selects at once and fucking beat me. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to put him in a 50-50. He's going to get hit. I'm going to drop the combo. He's going to fucking mash. I'm going to lose. That's how it's going to go down. But I'm not gonna lose because my character sucks. That is that is something yeah. I will never understand with people. Yeah, you refuse. You refuse. Yeah, like, but <clears throat> that's because you 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 ate up your ego. Yeah. To me, I didn't. I didn't. I couldn't get. I couldn't do that. Like, I, you, you would be like, yo. Anytime you get a win with this character, it's because you're good, not because they're good. Yeah. Pick something up. And you yeah. know, I just couldn't. I just couldn't believe it. I'm like, no, yeah. he is good. You know, when in reality, he's not. And I got a similar story. Uh, when I was in New York, when I was first starting Guilty Gear, I played Maul and Pot. Okay. And when I played Maul and Pot, I was playing Slayer at the time. Okay. I was, I was playing Slayer at the time. And Slayer was not that good during that time. He was he was not that good. He was like B tier or, or C tier. He, not C tier. He was like B tier. Zato was S tier at the time. Okay. And every time, every time Maul and Pie would hit me, I would like lose. It was over. Yeah. And I was like, hmm. I was like, that don't seem too fair. Like, I don't, I don't. <laughs> that was kind of fast. I, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, dang, dude. Like, I would I would hit him nine times, and he would get up nine times, and I'm like, that's. This, this, I'm not Salem, dog. Like this, I don't like this number. <laughs> you know? So I, I freaking. Benrich's team wasn't the best. We got second though. See, the thing that's, is that that team is actually really that team good. is actually really good. And, and he's, he's playing he's, GT Goku. Like, he, come on, okay, dog. look, bro. He's playing GT Goku. He's playing Bardock. Okay, that's he's playing. That, Bar- let's not forget. That's he's two out of Bardock. the three top three of that season, and he picked his favorite character. Yeah, like he's still playing Bardock. He's and still Vegeta's playing the bad. best character. Vegeta's not bad. Yeah, he still played the best character. He played the two best characters you could pick. Oh, he didn't no, play Bardock. About, no, he but, played but fucking I'm Cell. He played Cell. He played Cell. Every time he's done, like, at he Evo, 20, 20, Evo 2018, like, he, he played Bardock. Oh, yeah, he did Cell play Bardock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, and then in 2019, he just switched out Bardock with the other uh, best character. Vegeta like, Cell. It's not, yeah, yeah, it's not. My thing is, it's not like he wasn't playing GT Go. He wasn't like, playing a he, shitty team, though. Nah, that team was that team. That team was OD. Really okay, so, hold on. Noon, noon. I have to go because my person is calling me. It was great talking <laughs> to you. Bro. Of Just course, you. brother. I'm always down. Let me know. All right, bro. All right, fella. Catch you later.